21 years on, the horror of over 900 cookies killed by suspected NSCNIM between 1992 and 1997 is still fresh in the minds of the cookie community who are still awaiting justice. But their push for a separate state to secure the rights of the community after the genocide is still not gaining momentum. With the signing of the Naga Framework Agreement between the Centre and the NSC and IM, and a Naga peace deal almost reaching a final stage, Kuki Rebel Group, the Kuki National Organisation, has demanded that the Centre should deliver justice to the Kukis before going ahead with the Naga Peace Accord. Is uh, this uh, agreement of framework is already done in the year 2015 on 3rd of August? Yes. You demand for justice. You demand for this uh, uh, this this issue of this cookie genocide by NSNM mm. mm. be settled before bringing before making any final agreement with the NSNM. Yes, that would be the only fair thing. I mean, if you have been discriminated against, you have been you know uh, abused, you have been mistreated uh, by an organization. And if the government of India is the arbiter in terms of what happens, then uh, I think it is only natural that the victim's grievance must be addressed before trying to address the demand of the aggressor. Decrying the inordinate delay, the KNO has warned of returning to the jungles if the government of India does not facilitate the process. But if government is not interested or sincere in its uh, engagement, we have every right to work out again and to join. I mean, back to the jungles, I might choose. It's up to India government whether they'll be sincere or not in this talk. Meanwhile, President of KNO, P.S. Haukip, said that they have already shortlisted four to five demands which it would place before the government of India. We are fighting for a separate state. So somehow we reconcile to it and we are just waiting and we are demanding about four to five points so that it will be the same as a separate state. Talks has not yet begun. We are about to submit our demands now. It's in the final stage. In the next round of talk, we are supposed to uh, submit our demands. KNO President P.S. Haukip also lashed out at the centre for failing to act accordingly in the matter. So I'm very sorry that government of India is playing games with us, but this should not go on indefinitely. A time will come when we'll say no. Not to forget the Kuki National Organization, an umbrella group of 17 rebel groups fighting for the similar cause had signed suspension of operations with the government of India way back in August 22, 2008. However, a series of discussions between the KNO, Centre and the state government have failed to make any headway. With camera person Premananda, Sharat Chandra in Imphal and MK Henry from Churachandpur, this is Oinitam for Northeast Live.